party has a leader. Mm. Who is the leader of the party? The leader of the party is the president. The party also has a national chairman. Of course. So when it comes to a party situation, who mm. takes precedence, the national chairman or the leader of the party? The national chairman and the leader of the party will always speak one voice. Well, you, this you, is politics. You're the one that And in politics, you that's what I'm the saying. the constitution. Yeah, the constitution, the constitution of, of the party. party. Mm. Who takes precedence, the national chairman or the leader of the party? That is as far as the constitution of the party is concerned. Yes. As far as the constitution of the party is concerned, the national chairman of the party, you know, takes has the final say. So yeah. if the national chairman of the party is reportedly stopping the inauguration of state escorts, mm. how does that play out with the leader? How does that no, look? If, if the, the, national chairman, the national chairman of the party has not stopped the inauguration of the ESCO, he only said some clarification should be made so that we can have a smooth you know, uh, you know, uh, transition. The, the picture out there is like, is like your party cannot abide by its own constitution. How then would you be able to abide by the constitution of the country? No, 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 not at all. No, your view is wrong. It, it's not my view. As a matter of fact, what is happening is that our party believes in the rule of law. Mm. And that is why we are taking all these steps to handle this situation as it is. So it is, even in, it is indeed a plus on the part of APC that we are not imposing our will on members of the party. It, you should, I mean, it is a credit mm. that we are doing what we are doing, that we are engaging the here and there. We are not rushing things. We are trying to ensure that the right thing is done at the right time. These are steps that, you know, makes us tick. And these are steps that stand us, uh, stand us out as a party that believes in the rule of law, as a party, you know, uh, that uh, abhors impunity. Hmm. So to me, it is a credit. It is not a minus by any means. So how about those who think that, well, if this discussion, negotiation, which uh, continues today, uh, many will be looking to see, okay, well, if they don't get what they want now, the time with the clock is ticking. And then many say it's, it's more difficult now because uh, there is the stories you see on the front pages. Uh, Saraki, uh, why we must quiz him, the police involved, he had raised an alarm previously. Others politically would think, wait a minute, if you're negotiating with the MPDB group, of which I suggest some say he leads that group in that discussion, so if he's being... Uh, if he's facing this kind of scenario, many would have thought, wait a minute, is the party speaking from both sides of the mount? You, on one hand, want them to stay. On the other hand, he's going through this. They think, no, this certainly is uh, not supposed uh, to be the case. Chamberlain, I'm an optimist. I believe that it will work out. I mean, the party today will work out, will come out well. But is this particular case going to have any bearing whatsoever the on the impression himself. that the NPDP group has? Uh, I cannot think for them, for the MPD. No, well, from, but I'm the, asking you but, but not the, to think for them. No, I, for me... I'm asking no, your view. No, for me, I don't think it will have any pressure because the uh, senior president himself has said that, oh, on this again, I will present myself to be quizzed. Just like he presented himself to the you know, Code of Conduct uh, Tribunal and was tried. And even the tribunal left him off the hook until the case was, you know, reverted back to the, uh, to be retried. So again, even on this, he said, I am going to appear, you know, to prove my innocence. And I think it is, it is good. But so, then, yes. Yeah, you think it's good? But yeah, I mean, it's in the right direction. You know, I know you said that your party will come out and skate in this whole scenario. Yeah. But there are many who have said they're not exactly sure if they could take your words for it because you've had people who are threatening already that if their positions or their demands are not met, not even the NPDP, members within your party who have said, look, if you don't meet our demands, different caucuses, different congresses, that they may also follow the same kind of challenge as saying, well, I might as well leave if the party doesn't give me what I want. And I'm saying it once again that... In all of this, a middle road will be found and the party will be 
happier for it later. You're sure that nobody would likely take the party to court for breach of the constitution? Because the president, this is one of the things the president talked about mm -hmm. when he stood up against that 10 year elongation that was brought into the party. You're sure that nobody will take the party to court at the end of a convention? If there are not already court cases? Well, I, I, I cannot be sure of that. I mean, I, I can't speak for some members of the party, but that is the beauty of democracy. You know. Mr. Masaka, in your opinion, do you think the process is so far, in the process is so far, there is justice and equity? Within, where? The processes where? Within your party. 